to get an H-2A person, you first need to identify the party, you submit reams of paperwork to the Department of Labor and justify why you're unable to find people to take your jobs. I advertise in four papers in North Dakota and I haven't had one, not one, applicant this winter. The Department of Labor requires us to advertise in places they determine. Last year we were advertising in Texas. How retarded is that? Who's going to get in their car and drive 800 miles to take an $11 an hour job? Are you kidding me? got to be kidding me. <laughs> My mom didn't believe me, so I was like, you'll never go overseas. I'm like, okay, my bags are packed, I'm leaving. <laughs> My dad was kind of shocked as well, but I spoke to him. Um, first, and I was like, this opportunity crosses my path or my way. Holy crap. Come to America, get paid. I think mom and dad is excited and both proud. I never thought I'd come over working on a farm, you know? And then the, the day my friend told me about bees, it was something new, something interesting, something I wanted to see. And the day the, I first came to the United States, it was, it was really, really cool. You know, we are this international beacon of attraction. People die every day trying to get to America. I got up in the morning, I'm like, yeah, this is the USA. I'm, okay, <laughs> this is the USA. The excitement kind of went down. <laughs> I think I expected more. Um, yeah, not to be rude or anything. I think you guys just have it a whole lot easier in a lot of ways. <laughs> yeah, I looked at a grainy black and white fax and thought, okay. My very first time was not fun. <laughs> when you open the beehive and the lid comes up, there's really only two kind of people on the planet. Everything is new. When you open the beehive and they lean in and go, whoa, like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. People was new, the surround surroundings was new. Or if you open the beehive and they look and they go, whoa. I was just overwhelmed. That's the big difference. You know, whether they lean in or they lean back. Big eyes, I'm all excited about it all. I had the old style bee suits on and a bee got in underneath the vial by a crease and stuff. And right away she got popped in the eye. So it didn't start out really good for her. But she took the sting and got it out. John grabbed me and throwing me in his pickup and he's like, you can have a little cry and stuff and you know, just get yourself together. And I sit there and I thought, Mm, this is going to be a long journey. I might as well just get out there and do it again. So I got my bell back on and went back on it. I knew then that she was a keeper. You learn how to grow up fast. You know, you put in situations where you've never been in. Your focus just goes so much wider, being in a different country away from your people. I have a lot more of patience doing this work because it's not always my way. Having 12 to 15 different personalities on a farm, on one workplace. You see them 24 hours a day, you live with them, you work with them. It learned me a lot more of myself. How to handle situations all by myself, how to handle difficult and make big decisions all by yourself. And you have to rely and, re and trust yourself. They aren't really anchored here, their family is far away. You're not going to be happy every day. My family in South Africa is my real family. You don't grow apart, but you miss them. Being on my own in a foreign country. Starting to miss the culture, starting really, really miss my friends by now. You get used to for being away so far and so long. With foreign food and foreign people and a foreign language. I haven't been home for, for two years now. It's been a year and a half since I've last seen them. So. I'm a family person, so I really miss my family. I would want to know that someone cared a little about me if I were that far away. But we talk a lot. High-speed wireless, so they can Skype. Talking every day, every weekend. That's important. That makes it a lot more easier. Now it's getting more like a home feeling. Yeah, I love it. I've been here too long, I don't see it as America anymore. I see it as in my home. I see it, this is where I live. We're basically family too, yeah. I visit home and I come back home here. <laughs> you know, I want them to, to grow and thrive. I want them to, to go home and say, that was the best year of my life. I just had a blast.